Hello everybody, my name is Luciano. Today, we are checking out the West Michigan Regional Airport right here in Holland, Michigan. Today, we're gonna learn why it's so important to have it and what goes on, who works here, and how it all flows together. It's gonna be a really fun day and we might even go inside a really tiny plane. It's gonna be awesome. With that, let's go explore. Alrighty, so today we're gonna hang out with Aaron the director of the West Michigan Regional Airport. Aaron, nice to meet you. Hey, Luciano, thank you for joining me, sir. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look around, show you what's what. So when you're coming into the space, the first thing you're gonna see as you're coming in off the runway is this space we're in right now, which wow. is the uh, terminal. And the terminal for many coming through here is going to be the first impression they get of the community overall. Yeah. In many ways, we are the gateway to the community. So you've got these yeah. big wide open glass windows that yeah. anyone from the general public can come in and watch aircraft as they're coming in and out. Uh, grab some coffee, grab a cookie. I do feel pretty welcome here. Yeah. Welcome enough to grab a cookie? You're welcome enough to grab a cookie. It's cookie time. <laughs> these are the fresh cookies. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Take your pick. Mm. I just grabbed the first one. There you go. It's delicious. <laughs> so you, you land in here and you come off the apron off yep. the plane parking lot. You and walk then, in. And then you have this direct line from the apron to our executive conference space here. Okay. And this space is really designed to accommodate local organizations, groups, nonprofits. Oh, so really uh, this is a resource for the whole community to be using. Exactly. Uh, over here on our uh, wall, you're gonna see the uh, history wall, which kind of does a quick snapshot of where this airport came from. Uh, you can see its early foundations as a grass strip runway, all the way to uh, where we are today. Wow. It was just a couple barns back in the day. It was just a couple barns back <laughs> in the day. Literally, that was it. It was a grass strip runway in the middle of a cornfield and a couple of barns and uh, some small aircraft and now. Is that what they mean by grassroots? I don't think that's an inaccurate description. <laughs> so this is the pilot's lounge. Exactly right. So for many of our pilots, this is kind of the home away from home. Okay. That opportunity for them to Relax after a long flight. Oh, These do look relaxing. They're very nice. Uh, That's it. You can absolutely take a seat. Uh -huh. So they've got the recliners, but they also go completely uh, horizontal. So if you wanted to be able to grab a quick nap, yeah. there you go. So this is the line services office. Line services office. These guys are going to be the first interaction our passengers and pilots have with the airport. Uh, mm. Some of those are long-standing relationships, but. They're also, you know, brand new customers are gonna come in and they're gonna meet uh, the line services crew. These will be the guys that are out on the apron in the bright uh, neon vests. They'll be directing aircraft as they come in. Ready to go to work. Is that how they do it? Uh, I, think, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so now as we move uh, to the back end of the building here, a lot of this is just administration and operations. Just administration and operations. Yeah, it's only a critical part of our overall yeah. organization here. So uh, this part of the building is split effectively into two sides. On one side, you got the airport authority. So that's Holland, Zeeland, Park Township. Those are the communities whose tax base support the airport. And so then on the other side here, you have uh, our fixed base operator. Uh, fixed fixed base. base operator. Yeah, the fixed base operator, uh, what they do is primarily what you would normally associate with operation of an airport. Mm -hmm. So they're doing the maintenance of the runway, they're doing maintenance of aircraft, they're providing critical services and that front end kind of customer experience. All right, so that's a wrap for inside the airport business center. Let's get you connected with Megan and she'll show All you right. the rest of the airport. All right, now we're gonna say hi to Megan. Hi, Megan. Hey. What are we gonna learn about today? We'll check out our fuel truck, talk a little bit about um, different airplanes, how we get them from on the ground and up into the sky. Sweet. So, yeah, we've got our fuel truck here, and our fuel's kind of our first step. So, By whenever, the way, I love the aviators. Thank you. They, it's only appropriate. Those are very only appropriate. Only appropriate. Yeah. You can't be a pilot without, without aviator sunglasses. So this is the fuel truck? Yeah, this is our fuel truck. It uh, We can pull right up to the different airplanes, which is okay. pretty great. Just the nozzle? This is the nozzle right here. Can we pull the nozzle out? Sure. Hey, hey, look so it kind of looks like a, kind of looks like one that you put in your car. A little bit bigger. So where are we headed to next? We'll go down to our hangar. We'll go check out some airplanes. Airplanes? Airplanes! Oh my god! I forgot I we had airplanes here. I know. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. How long have you been working here? I started when I was still in high school. I started out in the front desk. Um, okay. 
and then I moved over to the flight school, and so I was the chief flight instructor here for two years. Chief flight instructor? Yeah, so. CFI? Yep. Whoa, yeah. that's the big CFI. It was, yeah, it was awesome, it was super fun. These are some of our training airplanes that we have here. Um, that's not an airplane, that's a paper airplane. It basically is, yeah. it basically is. So these are a couple of the airplanes that I used to flight instruct in, and these are my favorite airplanes. I actually learned to fly in the middle one. And then while I was working here, we got this one and then the one on the end. So I could probably throw this. You probably could, it doesn't weigh, it doesn't weigh too much. Uh, the maximum weight of this, you know, fully, if the airplane was fully loaded, is only 1,670 pounds. Yeah, hop on in. Can I squeeze inside? Oh my god, there's a lot of room for your legs. Super roomy. If you're... 4'11". <laughs> yeah, if you're your size. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and take out this. This is called the control lock. Control lock. Take it off? Yeah, and you can just throw that in the back. What you can do, that's your steering wheel in your airplane. So you can move that left and right. Okay. And that rolls what we call the ailerons. You can see that out on the edges of your wings. Wow. And that controls the roll of the airplane. The roll of the airplane. Yeah. It knows that if this is the roll. Yes. That's the roll of the airplane when yep. it tilts. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's how we turn when we're in the sky because it impacts the the way that the air flows over the wing. What's happening here? Oh. That's that's your elevator. So that's going up and down. Uh, so, so when you want to go up. These. Yeah. That's incredible. And then by your feet, you've got rudder pedals. And that wiggles the tail, kind of like a like a puppy dog when it gets excited. Is that right? Yeah. So that controls what they call yaw. 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 That's a real term. It is. I yep. thought that was just like from... yeehaw. Because when you do it in the air, you know, you get super excited. Yaw. 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 And I'm pretty sure these all these don't mean very much or anything. That no, no. Just look outside and you know how to fly the airplane. I'm just yeah. kidding. No, these are all really important instruments. Um, okay. So this is your airspeed indicator. Airspeed. That tells you how fast you're flying through the air. In knots. In knots, yes. Some of them are in miles per hour, but mm. most of the time they're in knots. Okay. This is your attitude indicator. So that uh -huh. tells you what, like if you're pointing up, pointing down, if you're rolling left, rolling right. So this tells you if you're rolling. Yes, yep, that just kind of tells you what the air, it's like a big picture of what the airplane is doing. Okay. Then you've got your altimeter. This tells you what your altitude is. How high you are? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so this is based off of what we call mean sea level though. So right now you see how it's indicating that we're at about 700 feet? Yes. So that means that our elevation right here is about 700 feet. Mm -hmm. So this tells us how, how high up we are, but not based off the ground. Got so you. as pilots, we need to be really careful that we know what the terrain around us is because so we don't run into anything. That makes sense. Yeah. What about this thing? It says throttle, push, yeah. open. So I pushed that, it, is that bad? Nah, you're good. Okay. Um, so that controls how fast the propeller spins when the airplane is on. Oh. Yeah. And the red one next to it, that's your, we call it the mixture, and that determines how much air and how much fuel are mixed together to make the engine run. Because we don't want to have too much fuel, but we also don't want to have too little fuel. That's and then a lot of responsibility. It is, yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't that be automatic? Nah. <laughs> no? Nah. Is it have to think about? <laughs> nah, you're good. What is this? That's our checklist. So, checklist. Yeah, it's super important that we don't ever skip any steps. Yeah. And so we always have checklists to make sure that we're doing everything the right way. Ooh, so we get to go in? Yeah. You wanna turn some lights on? <laughs> yeah. All right. So go ahead and turn this one all the way up, this one all the way up, this one all the way up, these ones all the way up. Uh, and we'll go outside and we'll go look at all of them. Flipping stuff. Perfect. Right. Stepping out like Air Force One. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we go to fly the airplane, we always do a walk around, make sure that everything is like in its place. Okay. And one thing we always check is that our lights are working. Mm. So we've got our taxi lights, which are in the bottom of the belly of the airplane. Those seem to be working. And then we've got the landing lights, which are on the... Those are the blinking ones? That's the, um, on the wheel is okay. the landing light. Oh, and then yeah, the blinking sense. one is your strobe light. The one, the red one on the belly. Got you. Yeah. Where does the wheel go? It looks like it's tucked into the 
Yeah, wing. so when we're flying, we have this lever called a gear up and gear down, so that sucks the gear up and then it puts it down too. So okay. it lets us fly faster through the air because it's reducing drag, which is something we'll talk about in four forces of flight. We get another taxi light here, another landing light here, and then we've got our Christmas lights. Christmas so we've got lights. A, these, we call these navigation lights. Your nav lights. So we got a green navigation light. Helps you navigate. Couldn't screen. We've got another navigation light on the tail. That one's gonna be white. That's so high up there. Yeah. There's another navigation light. That's our red one. So this is another navigation light. It's red. And we also call those um, <laughs> position lights because when you're flying at night, if you see the green and the red and the white based on those colors, you know what direction, like if the airplane's coming towards you or going away from you, mm. if it's crossing left to right or right to left. It's just like boats, right? Yeah, yep, exactly. Like boats. Yeah. Ab lights. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Cool. How far could a plane like this go? Um, on a good day, this can go all the way to California. Really? Yep. On a good day, so like on a good day. weather permitting? Yeah, so we've got the jet streams, which is the winds that are super high up, and mm. those flow from west to east. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you have too much of the jet stream, if it's too strong, you may not be able to make it all the way to California mm. without a fuel stop. It creates too much drag. Um, not so much. <laughs> nice try though. <laughs> okay, so your car, if you're driving into a headwind, yep. your miles per gallon, yeah. Is going to be lower than if you had a tailwind, right? What? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. I feel like yeah. it's working harder. It's working harder to go into the wind, but if you've got a wind pushing you, it doesn't have to work as hard. So, so you got to pay attention to what the wind is that day. Always. We check uh, the winds. We check what the runway condition is. People's jobs to keep that clean, right? Yep. The, the line service. Yep. Yeah. All right. We're good. So lift is the force that keeps us in the air. So this is the first force. Yes, yeah, they're all kind of equal, but yeah. Mm. So we got mm. lift and then what counters lift is weight. Mm. That keeps us on the ground. Makes the airplane not Gravity. over the sky. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And then do you remember the force that you guessed about why it would be harder to go to California if the weather was? I do aggressive? remember. Yeah? Do you want me to say it? Yeah. Drag. Yes. Yes. That's another one of ours. What's Ooh. something that pushes the airplane forward with our engines? I totally did not Google this ahead of time. Thrust. Nice. <laughs> Is my guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those are our four forces of flight. Okay. So. The thrust comes from the engines, the weight is from gravity, drag is from all of the, I, I call them sticky outies. Like all sticky of the out. things that things are that protruding out. from the airplane that make it so that the air can't flow smoothly over the airplane. They cause friction. Yes. Flying airplanes is pretty straightforward. Seems really easy. Yep. Yeah. And you don't have to necessarily be like a pilot to have a job in aviation mm -hmm. either. There's so no. many other things you could be part of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just to make this operation run, there's so many different fields. I mean, we, yeah, we've got pilots, we've got line guys, we've got mechanics, we've got schedulers, we've got receptionists. I mean, anything, every field out there is somehow can be wrapped up into aviation, gotcha. which is pretty cool. So you can grow up and be a mechanic, right? Which mm -hmm. may or may not need like college experience, but you can be a a uh, mechanic specifically for airplanes. Yeah. You can yep. just be an airplane mechanic. Exactly, yeah, you have to get some special training, but yeah, yeah, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So I fly that big jet that we flew. You're a pilot. Yep. Do you have to go to school for that? So it, there's a couple different routes you can take to be a pilot. Okay. I took a pretty non-traditional route. Most people go to a four-year or a two-year school to get their licenses, mm -hmm. and then they go get their job. I did community college for two years while I was learning how to do my first rating, my private pilot rating. Okay. And then I took a year off after I got my private and I got my two year degree to do my instrument rating, which is learning how to fly in the clouds. And then I did my commercial rating, which is getting paid how to fly. And then I did my flight instructor rating so I could then teach people how to fly. Whoa. And then once I had all those, then I went back to school and finished my degree online. So. It was definitely a non-traditional route, but it worked out. And then I was able to, I didn't have to worry about student loans because it was all out of pocket, yeah. which was pretty cool. And it was infinitely cheaper. And the whole time you were working at, working in the industry while you're making it exactly. happen too. Exactly. Ready to go on your flight? I'm ready. All right. I think. <laughs> all right guys, today we've had an excellent day at the West Michigan Regional Airport. 
We've learned how it brings people together, brings value to businesses, and is an all around gem to have right here in the community. We even learned about planes and how they work and how they fly. Speaking of, I think it's my time to get in one right now. So, uh, where's the airplane? <laughs> <laughs> what we're looking at. Alright. Do I climb in through here? Alright. And step in. Sounds good. Alrighty. We'll see you guys on the other side. Holland West Michigan Regional Traffic. Third Togo one Romeo with me is east to the south. He's gonna be uh, entering a uh, left stage for runway two set out. Thank you. 